I'm sober enough to know what I'm doing, and I'm drunk enough to really enjoy doing it. I climb into my dynasty, it's like walking into another world. Dennis Mahonchak came back for the comfort and luxury. Keith and Mindy Parker came home for the power and performance. And this drunk derelict cripple bought one because he heard that, like him, it likes to drink lunch and snort dinner. Welcome home, America. Come see what we're made of. Tell me your car is from 1989 and she's a classy dynasty. Without saying she's a 1989 classy dynasty. First stop. Let's just go to the liquor store. Good idea, Randy. I'm getting drunk today. Second stop. What's up, buddy? Oh, you? Oh, you know, 11. You giving it? Oh, something like that. Where's the bird at? What bird? All of them. Pack your cheapest darts, please. Alrighty, well we got lunch for the car. Now we're just gonna go find a nice nice spot to go uh, eat lunch. Nothing says lunch in a 1989 dynasty, like a gravel road with a bunch of dirty old fucking half used rubbers everywhere. Bingo. Alrighty, well we got lunch here for your 1989 uh, Chrysler dynasty. It's time to eat. Oh, she's fucking perched. How about you get your own bottle? Save some for me. Mm. Let her shoot it. Let her just suck it back. She's thirsty. She's a hard working 89 dynasty. I'm just lying around having a couple drinks relaxing, Randonator. Man, she's hard on the bottle. All right, well, you know, after a, a hard rip off the bottle, you know, guy needs to sober up before he goes back to work. Oh, you know, you guys seem pretty cool. You like to party? It's got that dynasty line up there. We are gonna party like the 80s. Man, the car's all nice and woke up for lunch. <laughs> Not like any blue collared car, you gotta finish up lunch with a little bit of a dirt. Good night, man. Stick. <laughs> you know, she's a dedicated smoker when she gets rid of the filter, too. <laughs> I had my first cigarette when I was 13. <laughs> Things like my uncle. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's how you feed your car lunch when you, uh, you know, she's got to go back to work. How she goes. Which was All right. Well, you know how it goes. If your boss is a real prick on your way back to the shop, you got to get a little whiskey and you got to get a little dirt into you. How did you get through it? I had a lot of help from Jack Daniels. I make a dime. <laughs> I drink and smoke on the company dime. Well, there you go. That's how you tell if you're driving a 1980s hot rod. Mint. You don't need to worry about the CV joint making that noise. Well, she's running a little better after she fired a little Com Columbia Bam Bam into her. Alrighty, fellas. Well, after filming that video on the drive home, car was all over the road. I don't know what the hell. Probably drunk. 
Oh, he's drunk. No, no matter what I was doing, I just couldn't keep her on the road. Next thing you know, she goes rallying through the ditch and rips all the gas lines off. So we got to get that fixed up. I mean, yeah, I thought it'd be a lot worse than that. They'll be able to buff this out, no problem. She's hard on the sauce, and next thing you know, she's in the ditch. But anyhow, I appreciate all you derelict minty pricks for watching my videos. But moreover, I appreciate all you minty fucking Patreons keeping this old piss tank machine fueled. What a treat. And I appreciate all you minty fucking pricks that went over to the store on uh, ziptiesandbiasplied.com and bought a belt buckle. These things are fucking mint. They're good and tough, too. Don't worry about that. Made of wood. Real sturdy. Alrighty then. Until the next derelict piss tank adventure, you guys keep shitting out your ass. You don't need to worry about bringing your car to AA. Mint.